Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about carpet viper. Carpet viper amazing facts most carpet vipers, such as the white-bellied carpet viper lay eggs. Though female Akai's carinatus snakes who live in India give live birth, or appear to. What really happens is the eggs hatch inside her and the hatchlings come out. The snake responsible for the most human deaths in Africa is the West African or oscillated carpet viper, a snake whose average length is one to a bit over two feet. It causes more snake bite deaths than all other types of African snakes combined. Unless the person gets bite treatment right away, they have a good chance of dying. The prettiest of these snakes are probably the Mali carpet viper and Burton's carpet viper, also called the painted carpet viper. Their colors and patterns are a bit more vivid than those of other carpet vipers. Biologists believe one reason these reptile predators are so successful is the variety of their diet. Basically, they'll eat any animal they can handle, including other snakes and scorpions. The epithet for the Egyptian saw-scaled viper comes not from the country of Egypt, but from the pyramids. Where to find carpet vipers Types of carpet vipers are found in Asia, Africa in the Middle East. The habitat depends largely on the species. For example, Burton's carpet viper, also called the painted carpet viper is found in the Middle East and lives in rocky deserts. The white-bellied carpet viper of the West and Northwest Africa is found in habitats just on the edge of the desert, such as dry savannas and wadis. The oscillated carpet viper is sometimes found in the woods of West Africa. How dangerous are they? Despite their small size and unshowy looks, members of the Akai's genus cause not only the most snake bites but the most snake bite deaths on Earth. They do this because they are both aggressive and easily overlooked. They also live in the same locations where people also live and work. Immediate bite treatment is a must, and these vipers often live in places where modern medical care is hard to come by. The venom is especially dangerous because it is made up of the four main types of snake venom. One part attacks the nervous system, another attacks the cardiovascular system, another the blood, and the last destroys the cells of the body in general. Carpet viper behavior and humans carpet vipers are solitary save the breeding season. They're usually active at dusk or at night, especially if the weather is rainy or humid. During the day they hide in old burrows, holes, logs, or under crags. If the snake lives in the desert, it may just dig into the sand with only its head poking out. On wet days, the snake climbs into trees or shrubs and can often be found there in large numbers. The way the snake positions its body is another aid in its identification. It often curls its body into a figure eight and rests its head in the center, which puts it in a good position when it's ready to strike. Because these snakes are so bad-tempered, they aim to bite and envenomate when they do strike. When they're about to strike they hiss and rub the saw-edged scales together, which produces a sizzling sound. As so many are found in deserts, many Akai's snakes move by sidewinding which they perform with surprising speed. The snakes mate in the winter and the babies are born from spring till late summer. Female E. carinatus snakes give birth to live young, while other snakes lay between 3 and 23 eggs. Their lifespan is on the long side for a viper, and the lifespan of a carpet viper can be about 23 years. How venomous is a carpet viper? Despite their size, carpet vipers are responsible for more snake bite deaths than any other type of snake. This includes cobras, mambas, puff adders, and rattlesnakes. What type of venom does the carpet viper have? The venom of these snakes is made up of neurotoxins, cytotoxins, hematoxins, and cardiotoxins. In other words, unless bite treatment is given immediately, the toxins will attack just about every important bodily system. Symptoms include uncontrolled bleeding all over the body, including the brain.